a subscriber actually dropped this one out. This one's gonna be a mean one. God, this is gonna be so weird. I'm gonna literally grab them out. There's over 2,700 votes for the what is going on girls? Welcome back to another video here today. I'm doing it again I got the spin the wheel behind me here at the last two videos boom boom both over a million views We're switching up the rules this time though. I got the wheel behind me here Whatever we spin it it lands on we're gonna pick two of the things that we land on put them on a poll on Instagram And see which one you guys choose so the plan is spin say it landed on the red tail spin say it landed on the freshwater lobster I'm gonna put the red tail and the lobster on my Instagram story. Whatever poll wins the highest is what we go out and get in today's video. In just one hour of this story being live, there's over 2,700 votes for the- Super cool video ahead of us here. I'm so stoked for this. Um, without further ado, let me give you a, a little rundown on what is on our wheel today. First things first is a common snapping turtle right here. So I did end up throwing on a turtle here somewhere. The next thing is a neon tetra. Little tetras right here, maybe for like Luna's tank over here. By the way, let me update you guys on Luna. I get so many comments. Luna, what up, girl? That thing is so old, dude. <laughs> she's still kicking. That fish I bought, I think, one of my first YouTube videos ever. And she's in the kitchen, still chilling. So there's an update on Luna. Back to the video, though. We have this lobster here. Whether it's a freshwater lobster, hashtag, slash, backslash, Crayfish, a stingray, which I would need to get a license. I put this on here every time and never land on it. I don't know why I even put it there. It's just like bad luck. A stingray, I really just want to like force myself to get one eventually. On to the next one, red tail catfish. As you know, I have a couple red tail catfish. Uh, there's actually one growing in this tank over here right now. Let's go check that is out. Is he down in there? There she is. It's little, but she's in there. And then last but not least, to save the best for last, an eel. You've seen others probably make videos on these eels right here. You can get them at the food market. People literally eat them, but they're super cool pets too. So if we land on that, we'll have to go get an eel. Then the free spin is just a respin, and uh, that's that. Six different things we can land on today, including the free spin is seven. Now, without further ado, let's spin that wheel! All right. Oh. The first one's a free spin. What are the chances? Okay. This one's gonna be a mean one. Zoom in. Zoom in. Ah! All right. Red tail catfish is what we landed on. So that is our first one going on the Instagram poll. First one. What's gonna be the next? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think I'm about to land on? Drop it, drop it, drop it. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Dude, it's an eel! We literally landed on eel. Don't even cut the clip. That was literally like back to back. Red tail and an eel. Look how close it is to going on the red tail again. Why didn't you just go like this? So I could have done a different thing. All right, well, got a red tail and an eel. Let me put this on my Instagram story now. What is going on, everyone? We're filming a video as we speak. I just landed on this red tail, and then I landed on the eel. Spin the wheel challenge. Which one should I get? It's your, it's your choice right now. It's your choice. Vote, vote, vote. Hurry up. Which one should red I get? Tail. It's your, it's your choice right now. It's eel. your choice. Vote, vote, vote. There Hurry it is. Up. Video's about to go up right now. I'm just gonna throw an arrow to each one. You tell me. Look at. You tell me. And this is why you guys gotta follow me on Instagram, at Paul Cafaro, so that you can be the one to choose whether I get in red tail or eel next time. Anyway, now we're just gonna hang out, chill at the house, eat some food, wait a bit. Let's go update them on all the animals while we wait until that poll gets some votes. Look at Lulu completely in the mud. Look at her. <laughs> Lulu, you cooling off? Oh, look at, we got blue right here. <laughs> Baloo. It's nice and sunny today, so the pigs are all out here going mudding. Look at Baloo. He's like, ah, oh, that feels so good. Look at him. <laughs> yes. You know how hot it is out here? They're loving that. Lulu, you want some? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah. So the pits actually go in the mud. Like, look at Lulu right now. See how she rolls around in it? It's because that mud will actually stick to her, like, 
coat her all her her hair and keep her cool because the mud is cool from the water so it keeps them cool in this hot hot sun they also obviously have shade spots they can go in the little house they can go behind these trees they can go in their little jungle spot over there that they sleep in there's a lot of places these pigs can choose to go to stay cool but as you can see uh this is probably their preferred place to go want to roll over for us today huh yes no maybe so Oh, and there he goes. Yeah, indeed didn't want to roll over. Big boy. Did I not just put fresh water in there for them to drink? And look what she does. What are you doing, Lulu? Lulu, come on. Come on, Lulu. And that is why they never can take clean water. There she goes. <laughs> you know, I tried. I tried everything. Larry, what are you doing? He's talking crap again. Oh yeah? Really? That's the type of day you're having? What, dude? Like what? Why are you so like mean? Ah. Uh, his girlfriend broke up with him. I don't think she broke up with you. I think she just ran away because you're so aggressive. It's bird, man. Look it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you hear it? They're drinking. All right, now let's go show you the tortoise. Hey, buddy. Come down here, David. We're under this uh, thing I put out here to keep him cool, but uh told you guys to comment. There was thousands of comments to name this tortoise right here, and uh, we ended up just naming it David. David's behind the camera. David, let me see yourself. He's a filmer and editor, for those of you who don't know, and David, this tortoise is named after you. Come here, Spike. <laughs> A subscriber actually dropped this one off to me. Beautiful, beautiful tortoise. It's a male. So now we have two males. Tortoise life. Let's see what this pulls at. In just one hour of this story being live, there's over 2,700 votes for the eel and 710 for the red tail. So clearly, if we're going with the eel. We're gonna head over to the store right now and pick up the eel. I'm gonna share the reveal right now on my story. Look, 71% eel, 29% red tail. All right, we'll see you there at the food town market. This is where people go to buy food. Like these, these eels are meant for food. I'll see you there. Yo, what is going on? Look how big these fish are. You buy them like this. And then there's live lobster back there. Live tilapia too. This is crazy. What the heck? Bro, look at the eels. I knew they were here somewhere. Yo, look at that. Okay, and then this one. And this one is frogs. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck, dude? <laughs> That's sick. They're $10. Can we do two of them? Two? We were spinning the wheel, we landed on one. And now we gotta get an eel. Oh my goodness. Yo, what in the heck? Can you put water in there so he stays alive? Thank you. They're meant for food, so if he doesn't put water, they would just die and then obviously we'd cook them. We're not trying to cook them, we're trying to keep these things at least. For the time being. That is freaking weird, dude. <laughs> We're buying eels right now. Yo. <laughs> eels. Legit eels. I'm actually freaking out right now. Like, I'm stoked. Look at them. They're crazy. I told them to put water so that they would survive the whole way home, and they put water in there, so we're good. That's so weird. Let's get home. Look at what we got. Woo! Eels. Live eels, I promise you guys. Whatever I was to land on, we do a poll on Instagram, whatever that poll one is what I'd get, and we ended up getting a eels. I'm actually really curious to see how these things look in the pond out there. As you know, we have a turtle pond that has low water right now. I'm gonna put them in there just to see how like, they look when they swim around, you know what I mean? I think it's gonna be cool. We'll get a cool look at them. And drop a like if you think I should keep these things. Like, I'm gonna put them in there, and uh, from there, who knows what we'll do with them, but I think I should keep them and to, like, try to like make their own enclosure or something like that. Having pet eels, that'd be awesome. So drop a like if you think I should keep these. Let's go uh, put them out back and uh, see how they look in the water. There we are. Look at these eels in the light. What in the heck? That's its face right there. He said they bite, so we gotta watch out. They bite. We're gonna put them in, let them sit there for about 10 minutes. Acclimate since we are gonna be keeping them in here for a little bit. And then we're gonna release them into here and watch them like do the little, do the little eel thing. See in 10. Pinocchio, come here. You guys remember we grew this soft shell literally since he was like that big. Pinocchio is big now. Yo. 
Oh, gosh, you're feisty. I love soft shells. Dude, maybe we'll make like a cool fish tank for this thing too. I have so many ideas in my head, it's not, it's non-stop. But Pinocchio, go back. We're gonna put the eels in here now. The eels will not mess with Pinocchio, not at all. Oh, God, this is gonna be so weird. I'm gonna literally grab them out. Oh, what in the heck? Oh my gosh, they're so slimy and weird. Look at it, look at it. What the heck? <laughs> that is sick. We got one more. Oh gosh, can you let me just get you out already? This is the most disgusting thing. Is that the most weird thing? It's literally, it has just a little bit of water and it's swimming around in it. It finds where the water's at, look at that. Look at that. What? And they have all these rocks to hide and the other one's already hidden. How sick is that? That's gotta be one of the coolest things I've ever done. Ugh. All right, well, let's get some GoPro footage of these suckers. How about that? Let's do it. to Fish Kings 2005 Phelps. Nice video, Paul, with <laughs> emoji hands. If you want to win a positive comment shout out, have your comment on the screen in one of these upcoming videos, drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. That's that. That is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not done so already, join the family. Subscribe button is down there below. Smack it for me. And after you click the subscribe button, click the bell so that you're notified every time I upload, which is typically every other day. We've been putting the grind in on these videos lately, like way more high quality. If you guys are enjoying them, please do drop a like. Spin the wheels are probably one of my favorite videos to ever film. So if you are enjoying these, let me know in the comments down below. If you do want to further support the channel and check out the PC merch, we got the signature on the sleeve right here. That, is there anything on the back? Nope. Not this shirt. Go to the top link in the description and uh, check out that there, paulcaferrellbrand.com, and I will see you in that next one. Peace. here by the pigs now and uh they're cooling off it's beautiful out today hey 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 what up Puma? oh yeah big papa right here look how big bubba is now he is huge